Hey guys, so this does contain a spoiler. Um, this is uh, reviewing uh, Wanda Vision episode seven. S starts right off where you know Wanda has pretty much expanded her circle or the the energy circle uh, to save uh, Vision, and uh, you know pretty much sort of like a similar to the format of this episode is similar to like The Office where they're pretty much. You know she's talking to the camera and you know uh, you know talking about her issues and then uh, you know and it's flickering you know there's one scene in the episode where the kids are playing video games and it's just pretty much changing the the controller from like Xbox to Nintendo and to Uno cards and it's just sort of like flickering all this time and you know when the kids comes in and she's like oh I'm just resting my my eyes you know I'm just kind of laying down she's just grieving I think that's what is happening this whole thing about her is just she's in grievance uh, you know and you know she pretty much wakes up uh, you know in her bed with her Halloween costume on and uh, you know and then there's one part where you know the kids ask what happened to their uncle she goes like oh he's not your uncle and you know I don't have all I don't have all the answers and there's a part where she's like pouring the milk and it turns from the cardboard box to a glass bottle of milk and she doesn't know really what's going on it's just sort of like flickering um, so she doesn't know what's going on and then and then they pretty much show the army you know uh, trying to see see if they can get in and uh, what's her name the uh, let's see um, I think her name is Monica yep Monica Monica is trying to get back get inside the globe um, and, and uh, you know the vision wakes up you know uh, back with the uh, with with the doctor what's her name cat 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 Dracy Dracy dr. Dracy um, and you know he she's sort of like they're in like a, in a circus you know this weird you know circus and and he he basically gets her memory back and they pretty much takes the car and and steals the car and trying to get away from the the circus van itself mm. and uh, you know pretty much you know as the episode progressed the the name the, the, the what's her name the noisy neighbor you know she's back there you know in the background again with the kids and stuff and there's one scene where everything is just flickering is going back to a uh, you know is, is reverting it's from like modern TV to an older TV and she's trying to bring it back uh, you know she's not sure what's going on and you know there's a point again you know there's a the format of the show is like the office where they're talking you know to the camera there's one scene where somebody talks back to her she goes like oh you're not supposed to be talking back to her what is this guy named the guy who played Asian Jim the Asian Jim is also in there um, and you know he's just they're just trying to track they're trying to see if they can get, get back inside um, the the energy ball that Wanda has created so this whole episode uh, you know it's just pretty much it, she doesn't know what's going on the birds you know everything's sort of like flickering you know and she's you know again she's like sitting in the you know and just talking about it and she doesn't know why what is happening why things are falling apart and uh, she's just confused and she's, she feels like she can't fix this she's just grieving over it uh, and there's one ad there's one weird ad uh, it's called Nexus I don't know for some reason it reminded me of Nexium when I was watching it I thought it was actual ad but then until I saw where you know they were talking about the side effects include feelings you're feeling 
confronting your truth. See, uh, you know, possibly more. You, you should not take next years uh, unless your doctor clear you to move on with your life. You know, it was just a weird ad. Um, then again, the the kids are spending time with, uh, you know, with uh, with the with the neighbor, the noisy neighbor, as they call her. And so now, you know, uh, there's a scene where she looks like she's in an astronaut costume and she's about to go inside with this truck kind of thing. And apparently she can't break it in. And, you know, they're telling Monica to, to get out of there, you know. And then he just throws the truck out truck you know outside and it's like a half tow truck sort of kindish and then she pretty much runs inside she pushed through the barriers sort of like an energy like an energy force it feels like an energy force where she's just trying to uh, get in I think she's hearing her mom or something or her younger self it's kind of very strange weird um, thing sort of like an interstellar, you know, where she's just talking to her future, her younger self, or something. And finally, she gets in, and then there's a scene where Vision himself is just talking and just staring at the camera, and he's just talking, like, "Oh, I don't even know what's going on." This is the whole thing is just very strange. Just, it just reminded me of The Office. And there's just one scene where he's just like, he removes a mic and then, you know, hit the mics and he just flies away. Um, so pretty much then the whole story just pans to where Monica arrives and she confronts the witch or the Wanda. She's like, what are you doing here? She's like, the whole thing about Vision, you know, she goes like, oh, get out of my house. And she she tries to like uh, drones, so she she basically use her energy thing and try to push her to the ground. But Monica seems like she has her abilities that she developed, and she's like the only thing that I'm lying about is what you made me say. And she's just trying to talk Wanda out of it and she's just I think at one point she's just comparing him to Thanos she was like you're no different than him he's gonna burn the vest for you to the ground and don't let him you know make you the villain and she's like maybe I'm already am see what I did and then you know what's her name the the neighbor she just like that's enough leave poor wonder alone and she just basically uh, you know walks away and then again, it shows, uh, you know, the scene with the vision again. And he's just, like, talking about looking at the camera. And goes, like, what am I doing here sitting and talking to you when I should be? I think I already mentioned that part. But, you know, as I'm watching, I'm just kind of going over it. Um, and she's like, oh, Wanda, you know, Agnes. She's like, oh, you just sit down and have, uh, you know, talk. And then then there's a silence in the room and she's just looking around she sees the the bunny and you know everything is just the, the music starts playing weirdly and she's just looking around the lamb the bugs and um she's like where are my twins where are my kids and she was like oh they're probably in the in the basement And then as she goes down to the basement, and she's looking around, it's, she's calling her son, and she pretty much, she goes like, oh, my name is Agatha, the heart, you know, the Harkness, I'm the one who's behind everything. And I looked up about Agatha, who she is, she's the one basically, she's sort of like a mentor of Wanda vision and uh, so they're showing that it it has been her who's been behind all this 
maybe she's the one that has been controlling uh you know she's the one that has been controlling Wanda all this time and she's the one she's the one who has been controlling everything she's the one who has been controlling everyone she's the one who sent the uh what's his name Pietro to uh So she's the one who's been behind everything and she was like the camera one that has been recording everything. So she's literally the one who, and then there's like a weird music that she has been the one that has been behind everything. Um, and then in the end she just laughs, laughs it off. And I think there is a end credit scene where Monica sees the, the, the basement door open and she's just trying to uh, get in. And she looks at the baby and it's like a weird purplish. Yeah, so it's it's pretty much, um, she's very similar to Wanda, but I believe she might be more powerful than her. So let me know what you guys think about this episode. And, um, and uh, I hope you guys are enjoying just as I am. Uh, it's a pretty good show, so... Let's see where things go. I mean, there's a lot of theories. They say that next episode could be, there could be a credit scene where they reveal, uh, you know, uh, Reed, Professor Reed from F uh, Fantastic Four or uh, Professor Xavier from X-Men. There's a lot of huge cameo they've been talking about. There's a lot of teas, a lot of, uh, you know, fans have been talking about it. So, so I hope you guys enjoyed my review and, uh, now we know who's be who's been behind all this and who's been controlling sort of Wanda um you know in terms of everybody and you know so let's see if Wanda isn't strong enough to break out of this and see where if there's a big you know fight between her and Agatha all right guys please subscribe to my channel this is my first review video i hope you guys enjoy it and you have a good day thank you